Okay, guys, now that we've finished the shaft, the pipe, and the T-piece, we're going to move into the Archimedes screw. So, back to the start menu again. Find new, standard millimetre part again. Now, while that new one's opening up, here is one that I've done before. So, you can see that we've got the Archimedes screw that you've used in your water pracks. So, here we go. Part one's open in the background. Let's start it off. Now the first part of the Archimedes screw is to make the coil. Now to do that we've got to create a 2D sketch. Again pick any plane and now this is where it gets interesting. Now this Archimedes screw can be drawn in any certain order but this is just one that I've done before. So what we want to do, we want to create two shapes. One, a rectangle and we're going to draw that from the origin and we're going to make that around about five millimeters wide by three millimeters high. All right, so that's just the measurement we've got at the moment. And the last bit we will do is just draw a line. And what this line will be is this will be the axis of our Archimedes screw. Okay, now we will need to dimension that. Now the dimension that governs this is that because this screw needs to be sitting inside of our pipe, what you should be doing is measuring the inside of your pipe and then using that dimension, which is the diameter, and halving that, so it's distance from here to here. Now, from memory, the pump was 15 millimeters in diameter, so what we're gonna do is create this as 7.5. Now we can finish the sketch, and now we can use our coil feature, which just sits up the top just here. So what we're gonna do is click on coil, now you'll see there's the sections in this menu just here. We'll bring it down next to it and we might even zoom in a little bit. So what we want to do is the profile. The profile is this rectangle here. You can see how it's already gone blue. Now that has because it's, there's only one solid shape there that, could, that can be infilled. Now the axis is this little button here. What we do now is select the axis. Now from here what we need to do is set the coil size. So the coil size is our little second tab here. What we do is we can either do it in three different methods, pitch and revolution. We can do revolution and height, pitch and height, or spiral. Now, the one we used before, it doesn't matter which one we use, but you can use revolution and height as an example. So the height will be the height of the coil. So in this case, we'll use 50 millimeters as our height, as our base height. And what we want to do is create this screw here will have three revolutions. So it's going to re revolve three times within that 50 millimeters. So hit OK. So now let's have a look at our preview. And we can see that is the basis of our Archimedes screw. So that is step one done.